Okay, doke guys, so we're back here and we're um, working on our avatar. So we're going to address the second pain in the ass issue for working with Fars hair and that is the blinking um, hair syndrome or B uh, BHS. <laughs> uh, BHS, there's a, like an orangey ribbon for it. So um, we're going to work on that and we're going to go dive into Blender. Is it? recording that yeah okay okay so now we're back here in blender and we managed to get a skin for our uh snaggle so we're not looking at the grid this is thanks to our good friend exosync who um i guess after me going i need a skin gave me this one so you can actually pick this up in the marketplace if you like the way it looks um so that's some shameless <laughs> shameless advertising right there all right so what we need to do is bring in our second hair now I showed you how to bring that in the last one. So we already did the exporting and uh, foldering and stuff like that. So all we have to do now is just go into our project folder and open it up and it will be here. And we're basically going to just do the same thing we did in the last video where we take the skeleton and we move it over uh, to a new layer, um, junk layer as I like to call it. And we're going to see if it's all one piece. It is. <laughs> Neat. So we don't have to do the combine and uh, other thing that we did with the last one. So we're just going to press R, Z, negative 90 and rotate it so that it's facing the right way. And we're just going to bring it down on our snaggle's head. Now it is gigantic hair and it is a little big. So I'm going to take this time to start tailoring it a little bit so that it fits um, the head a little bit better. But before we go into tailoring the head, we're going to need to put the hair on the snaggle skeleton. So just click on the hair, go over to the modifiers, just like we did before, and we're going to change it. Let me see. Make this bigger. Okay. So what we're going to do is come over here to our modifier tab, and we're going to change it from avatar to uh, from avatar 003 to just plain old avatar. And now when we move our snaggy. See the hair is compliant and moving along with us. Now I'm gonna alt R and G because I think I may have shifted her pelvis a little bit. There we go. Alright, everything's set. <laughs> now one of the other reasons why I liked using the snaggle is because Kemp, when he um, rigged it, he also threw in an animation that blinks. So you can see the problem actually in Blender. Let me start the animation over. Uh, well, let me pause it, put it to the front frame, and then let's make this a little bigger. Then we press play. So you can actually see that when a uh, snaggle goes to blink, the hair moves too. And that's kind of why I wanted to use a snaggle as an example because it has that animation already in there. <laughs> so thanks to Camp for doing that one. Um, so we're going to take care of that. But first things first, let's do the tailoring um, and fit in the hair on the uh, snaggle spot. So we're just going to click on it. We're going to press tab. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Um, press A. Press Alt J. Oh no. Yeah, Alt J. Make sure that compare UVs box is checked. And then we're going to press W and remove the weight, the doubles. You can see it removed all that. And it is kind of satisfying. Uh, then we can grab our um, vertex thingy here, and what proportional edit is selected on, we're going to pull this out. I know you got to pull it a little bit more with the snaggle head because of the transparency thing here. So I can pull it out. And you see there's all this, you probably can't really see it that great because of the netting here and edit mode, but when we go to object mode, you can see there's all this hair back here that needs to be pulled up because we shouldn't see our snaggle skull. We should just pull it up a little bit. Now, if it is a little too hard for you to understand what's happening uh, with the texture, we can just apply that real quick. So just go on back into edit mode and press A. And then uh, we are going to go into our UV. So just open. Go to our project folder, find the blonde hair. Okay. 
now we can see it in action, which makes it a little bit better. So I'm gonna pull this. And if you find that your field of influence is too big, just press G and scroll your mouse wheel in. Uh, that makes it smaller. Scrolling it out makes it bigger. So that's how you wield the soft editor. So I'm just gonna pull it until we don't see any scalp. And I don't want all this hair here. So I guess the hair should start about here, right? Let me pull it closer this time. Like that. I'm going to pull it out of her face. No, I left her hair in their face. On their face, but not in. And uh, another thing I didn't talk about before was you can actually edit single pieces instead of everything together. That. You can just switch it from enable to connect it. And you can edit single strands if you want to, or single locks instead of the full thing. So that's fine. So I need to edit the full thing. And uh, another thing that they like to do is um, the hair that goes across your chest is to give it a bit of distance away from you. That way clothes can fit under there. So it depends on how much clothes you want to wear. You can also use this extraction thing to extract your clothes. That way you can tailor your hair uh, to your outfits if you're like that picky. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pause it real quick and go and answer that text because it's going to keep popping up. I'll be right back. Okay, a little bit more. And I think that's a that's a nice this one here there's bug in me strand. It's bothering me. So I'm just gonna pull these out. And there we go. And that one. There we go. So there we go. And now it's all rigged and tailored to her chrome dome and we can now go and export. Um, no, no, not export. We need to um, fix the blinking problem. So the problem is the hair is rigged for a female human head. And what these creators that do when they're rigging for humans is that they use the fit mesh bones um, instead of the classic bones when they're doing that weight. So for them, it's easier for us to use this um, head um fit mesh bone instead of uh m head classic bone now they do this because if you use the m head uh, just not if you just use the head fit mesh bone you're able to give people the ability to resize it by making their skull bigger or smaller and the hair will shrink and fit around the head a little bit better that's why when you get stuff like i guess the kimono and they tell you oh just make your head smaller or something like that and the hair may fit on there um that's because the weight is on the head uh fit mesh bone now the problem with that is a lot of uh furry avatar makers will use the head then this is like mostly pre-bento ones would use the fit mesh bones as additional bones um so they didn't have to script stuff um in this example here with the snaggle the head bone, the head fit mesh bone was used uh, to rig the eyelids so that the avatar can blink without it having to use that shuffling through the alpha blink effect that was in vogue at the time. Uh, so when Bento came around, it pretty much became obsolete, but a lot of furry creators are like, my system is still fine, you can still put other hair on, you can use unrigged hair, and they kind of just left it right here. So whenever you see somebody who made it for like humans with fit mesh or something, they still use the head thing. And when um, you go to blink, your hair blinks along with it. So that is the error. And this is the solution. Um, this is why I said use, <laughs> have a copy of Sparkles because it's a one button fix. I, I tell you, I kid you not. So what you want to do is click on your hair and you want to go into weight paint mode. 
and you're going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to click on your head and you see that there's no weight here. And then you're going to click on your uh, head. Your, you're going to click on M head and you'll see there's no weight here. And then you're going to click on our head bone and you see that that's all the weight. That's what blinks when we go to blink. So what we're going to do is, while we're in weight paint mode, click on our head, head fit mesh bone. Then go to the Avastar panel. And you're going to scroll down to you see weight tools. Is it here? Yeah, it's right here. All right, so you're going to click on, scroll down to you see weight tools. And then you're going to press this button that says swap collision with the form. And it's fixed. So now when we go to click our head, you see that the weight that was once on uh, the, blue, the M fit mesh head is now on our solid M head classic bone. So now when we go and blink, you'll notice if I, if I can blink. You see, we're blinking and our hair is not moving. So that's the solution. It's just a press of a button and then you're set. Now, you may want to go and click on the head um, fit mesh bone and press the remove weights just to make sure that there's no weight on that bone whatsoever and you, you're not blinking. Your hair is not blinking when you import it in the world. So that's the solution to that. So now all we have to do is uh, separate it into materials so we can do the thing. So um, click on your hair, go into edit mode, press A, press P, separate by materials. Great. Um, uh, go back to the hair layer, which is this, I think, and this, and then we're going to press file, export uh, Collada, and I'm going to find our project folder. Um, Snagglin' just eight, so that's going to be. Wait for it, wait for it. Then we put it here. Then we go into our second life thing my bob and go file, upload. What did I name it? Snaggle eight. And this is a great time if you had hair that has a lot of complexity and you're like, I can't wear it. You can turn it down here. Or you can leave this alone, whichever you choose to do. Include skin weight, upload. Alright. Take a last look at our blinking scalp. Blink one more time for us, baby. Uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> our last look at that. We're going to put on our new hair. Whoops. I lost my garment. So we have our new fitted hair that isn't blinking, that needs to be pulled out a little bit more for our clothes and pulled down a bit for our shoulder, but that's just cosmetic. We can do that. I just didn't have clothes. So what am I doing now? We're going to add our texture to it. So I'm just going to select this. Let's go local. Add these two. Uh, let's see. I guess this is the fringe. And that is the solid. We hit OK. And now we have our hair for this snaggle. And you see she's blinking and her hair is not blinking. Now I want to pull this curl out a little more. That way it fits over my boobs and looks right over my garment. I didn't have a dress on at the time so I didn't have it as a reference. But um, if I was to take it off. See, it still looks good because it's going like right in front of it. Oh, it is going into my chest a bit. Alright, so I really need to edit that. But for the most part, you see it works totally fine. So that's it for how to fix the blinking issue. Now we have to take care of the last panty yes, the talk jaw hair wiggle. And that one's pretty much the same. So let's go and jump on that and we'll be finishing up this class. So I'll see you guys in the last episode. If that's all you wanted to know, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video.